Hi Stampers, it's Nancy from StampAndShout.com. Welcome to my Tuesday Live YouTube video. I'm here every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, if you're just popping in, go ahead and say hi. And don't forget to ask your questions. You can just type them there in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them. So tonight I am going to be working with the Bewitching Stamp Set. So we have a couple of projects. We're going to make a card and a treat holder. And so I'm using the Bewitching Stamp Set and it does come with a punch. Um, I'm also going to use the Alpha Best Stamp Set and it has a coordinating punch also. Um, the reason I'm using this is, first of all, I love it. It's so fun to use. It's easy to use. And this stamp set, as you can see, doesn't have any, any sentiments. So I created my own with the Alpha Best uh, stamp set. I'm also using the tailored tag dies. And what else am I using? Hang on. I'm using the silver and gold 6x6 six six specialty paper. So it silver dots, silver stripes, gold dots, and gold stripes. And this is one of the free items in the celebration catalog. So that's, if you look, that's in the celebration catalog, the little one. And then I'm also using a little bit of the designer series paper that's called Celebrate Everything. And that can be found in the little mini catalog way on the very, very last page. And this is a great deal because you get 48 sheets double-sided paper for $18 so and it's celebrate everything so you got a little bit of everything in there for all different kinds of occasions okay so let me show you the projects if you didn't see them already I posted pictures on my Facebook page but here's the card it's a slimline card and then here is the little uh, treat package the little treat holder so let's make the card first. So I'll bring in my supplies. And there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. So I've got a gorgeous grape vase. And this is cut to eight and a half by seven. So it's eight and a half by seven. And I scored it at three and a half inches. So that's how I got my slim line. And then I have two mats, one for the inside and one for the front. And the mats are seven and five eighths by two and five eighths. That's granny apple green. And my stamping pieces are white and they are seven and a half by two and a half. And let me bring in my stamparatus for the card. So I want the images to be really nice and dark. So this, the stamparatus is going to help me do that. So I am going to first, there's my stamping piece. I'm going to go ahead and it's not going to fit in here because, well, it does kind of fit in here. But anyway, let's just get going here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to, how did I do this? I wanted to, this is how I did it. So I put my stamp down here at the bottom. This is going to be the bottom of my card. Whoops, got to go this way. And then I close my Stamparatus. I'm going to put one more magnet. I think if I put this other magnet on there, it's going to stick to the other magnet. I think we're good. Okay, so now I'm going to ink that up in the Memento ink. So this is going to be the bottom of my card. And like I said, I'm using the Stamparatus because I want her, I want it to be really, really dark. So that's pretty good. That's a pretty good um, coverage, but I think I'll do it one more time. So the Stamparatus makes sure that it's going to stamp in the exact same spot. And that is perfect. So that's going to be the bottom of our card. And then I'm going to bring in a scrap. And I'm going to stamp her hat. So let's put our magnet there and hold that in place. This is just a scrap of white. And I'm going to stamp her hat in gorgeous grape. So let me put a 
damp pad under here. It kind of helps support it. So we're going to ink our hat up. And now see, I still want it darker, especially in that little corner. So I'm going to add some more ink. And stamp one more time. Still want to get a little bit more on this corner over here. Perfect. I like that. Okay. So then clean off my little stamps here. Why do I always forget the name of this thing? My little, I love it. It works so well. And I just keep it in a little case like this, wet it and close it up and it's, it stays for a couple days. So I think we're done with our Stamparatus. So we'll put that out of the way for now. And I'm going to color in some of her hat. We're going to color in the dots with my uh, Granny Apple Green Stampin' Blend. Coloring them in like that. And I think I'm just going to color in one stripe here on her hat. Okay, so now. You have the punch, you punch it out. And to be honest with you guys, I didn't get the punch because I love my punches. Don't get me wrong. But I thought for this, I can cut it out myself. So don't tell anybody, but I didn't get the punch for this because I know I can punch <laughs> the hat out quite easily. But then again, when you come back to the alpha best, I did get the punch because it's necessarily. And you'll see what we're going to do with this and how we're going to punch out each of our little letters. And there's no way I would fussy cut all that out. But you can fussy cut this little hat out quite easily. And I already have that done. So that's that. So we got the top of our card. We got the bottom of our card. And let me show you real quick how I did my letters. So couple of tips when you're using the Alpha Best set. It's very easy to lose these little pieces, these little letters. So generally, every time I stamp a letter, I put it right back in my case. And sometimes the sticky on these little um, photopolymer stamps, sometimes it doesn't stick forever and ever and ever. So I do clean them quite often to kind of keep them sticky as possible. But the second thing is just make sure you really, really close this tight every single time so they don't fall out by accident. Okay, so these are going to be, um, these are going to be, what color did I do these in? Did I do these in Memento? No, I did them in the Gorgeous Grape. So what I did, I guess you could do it in Memento, either Memento Black or Gorgeous Grape. It's going to be very, very close on this card. So I have most of my letters right there. I have the P, the Y, the S, and the K. And you can punch them all or stamp them all at once. And then I took the little stamp that has the stripes. And then I went through that. And I'm going to keep with the gorgeous grape. And I just want to show you. Um, I need a scrap here. Let me find a scrap real quick because I stamped off and then I stamped right over each letter and that was to ensure that it you know wasn't too too dark and you could see the letter right through it so I can stamp off and go ahead and surround your letter and then I brought in my punch and just punched out all my letters so you'll notice that I also stamped vertically and that makes it really easy for the um, punch to fit right into your paper so you don't waste any paper. So I have all that done for you but I just wanted to show you how I did it and so we're going to bring those in. So I have all those letters here right here. That 
ones for our next project. So now let's color in the witch's um, stockings. And here's my sample here. So I colored her stockings in uh, the granny apple green. And I think I'll do the belt buckle in Highland Heather. If I did it in Gorgeous Grape, it, uh, it's a little bit too dark on the black boot, so I decided to do it in Highland Heather. And she's looking good. So then what I did was, before I get all this done, I decided to stamp my spider, and I stamped him in the Memento Black ink. So I'll bring in my spider. So I kind of lined the hat up right up at the top of the card. You're going to need this whole space when you start putting all these letters in here. You're going to see it's going to get really crowded. So I know I want my spider about right there. And that'll, that's going to be my spider. So he's all set to go. He looks cute and scary. So then I just started putting my letters on here. And I glued them all down. I kind of had to jig jag them so they'd all fit. So kind of lay them all down. And I overlapped them if I needed to. So I'm going to put that hat up as high as I can because I need the space. So I could have stamped her feet a little bit lower, but we're good. We're going to make it all work fine. So I started at the bottom here. Let's put a little bit of glue on here. And we'll do that. I thought she was cute. So I'm going to jig jag it because I know I'm going to need that space. So some I put under the, the under each other and some I put over. It wasn't really too picky. Getting down to the end of my glue, I think. And then our hat is gonna go right there, and I just glued that on too. And there's the front. And we're going to go ahead and put her on this nice little granny apple green mat. Put that right in the center. And we'll put that on the front of our card. So I will have the sizes um, on my blog tomorrow and the colors I used and the supplies will all be listed there. So you can go to my blog, www.stampandshout.com. And there's shopping supplies there if you need any of these supplies. You'll be able to click on them. And let's do the inside. So... For the inside, I actually went to one of my old stamp sets and I found a Happy Halloween because I didn't have an, one in the current. And uh, so, I, let's see, oh, the stamp set for this is, oh, it's a real old one, Spooky Fun. So I'm using the Happy Halloween from this stamp set. And I'm just going to stamp it. right there. And I think I'll add a spider on the inside too. 
And you know what? I'm going to do a, a purple spider just because, just because. Oops, I got a little bit too heavy there. heavy okay and we'll make him come out of right there cute 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 I'm making a mess over here for my next project okay so I'm just gonna glue this to the inside of our card And I have two Halloween cards done. I like to send Halloween cards to my nieces and nephews. And I think they like getting them. So do you guys like make a lot of Halloween cards or do you, you know what else I like is are the treats. Um, great for your coworkers, all the Halloween treats. That's one of my favorite things to make. So that's what we're going to be making next. Really cute. Okay. So there's your first project. Cute slimline card. I hope you like it. Let me know. Leave your comments. Okay, next. We got this cute, cute, cute little bag. So these are the peekaboo bags and they, they're food safe. So you could put a cookie in there. You could put candy that's unwrapped if you want. You could put anything you want in here. They're, they're not real, real wide and big, but you can open them up at the bottom a little bit more. So they do stand up. There's a little gusseted bottom there. You just have to, well, when we get to that point, I'll show you. And they have a little... Uh, Ziploc to keep it shut. So that's the first thing we need. Then I have some of the designer series paper and this is the celebrate everything designer series paper. So I've got one inch by three inch and one and three quarter by three inch. I may cut that down a little smaller. Then I went ahead and cut out a tag um, with that silver and gold DSP that's in the celebration catalog and I'm going to actually glue it on this tag to give it a little bit more um, stability. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on there. We'll do that right now since it's in my hand. So we'll glue those two pieces together. Okay. And I'm going to bring in another scrap and we're going to stamp another hat. And I'm stamping this in the memento. And this one has the spider web on the hat. So we're going to color this in with our stamp and blends. And I'm using Highland Heather for her hat. I guess I'm deciding. I like to outline all the time. My little, when I color, it's just one of the things I always do, but I'm not going to do it this time. I'll just color it in. Do a little bit of both. So we did Highland Heather on her hat. Oops. And did Granny Apple Green with a band on her hat. And then for the web. I used the light smoky slate.
And then I brought in the color lifter and I kind of did a little bit of highlighting with that. Not too much, but I just kind of did a little bit here and there. And I did a lot on the spider web and it kind of eventually you're going to see it lightened it up just a little bit. But that's not that's not even a necessity. It kind of made her hat look a little bit older and tattered to me. So that's how I made her hat. And then I cut it out. I fussy cut mine out. I didn't use the little um, the punch on that. So there's my hat. And when I got all done, uh oh, did I do this wrong? I did. No, I didn't. I cut out a piece of black that's a little bit bigger. And I'm going to show you how I did that because it's going to go on here. And I thought it just got lost on the front of it. So I decided to give it a little bit of a black border. And the way I did that was inside when you take your little rubber stamps off you know how you get that little you take off this little piece of the backing i saved it and that is what i used to get, cut out the black and it's just a little bit bigger than her hat so i'm going to go ahead and glue those two pieces together and i may even trim it down it might be a little bit too big So we're just getting all of our pieces together before we put our card together. So you can decide when you see this yourself in person if you want to trim it just a little bit more. But it does help it show up a little bit more on the front of your little package. So we got that. We got our tag partially done. We're not done with that tag. And let's go ahead and put these pieces on. So these were three inches, but I think when I when you put it on your little bag and when you have stuff inside there, when you have candy or cookies inside there, it kind of makes this little area smaller and pop up. So I don't I want to make sure that this sticks well. So I think I'm just going to trim it just a tiny bit. A little bit shorter than three inches. Maybe I'll go two and three quarters. So I'll put this on the, make sure I have that on my blog tomorrow. And I just glued these to the front of our bag. Just like that. And let's go ahead and finish this tag up a little bit. So all I did for the tag was I brought in some Highland Heather and the Granny Apple Green, and I just kind of sponged it to add some color to it. So let's see here. I'm going to color it right on here. And this paper is nice to color on. And if you do this, you want to make sure you do have that little bit of the backing on there because it makes that paper a little bit stronger. And let me see here. I was looking for a... I was looking for a clean sponge. So I have sponge daubers and I have other little mats and I have these little makeup sponges. I use whatever I find <laughs> first is what I use. So I just added some color. So that's going to look nice on our bag. And now let's get to the candy. Let's get to the good stuff. So I have three Hershey nuggets and these are in this, the silver ones. They come silver and gold. They actually come in all different colors. And usually when I use make something with the Hershey Nuggets, I actually will cut a strip of, strip of designer series paper and cover it up. But I didn't need to do that for this because it's going to this little these little letters are going to cover up the words, the Hershey words. And you're still going to you're going to see that pretty silver 
shining through. So I just stuck them on with little glue dots. And I love the way it turned out. So I actually put a glue dot, two glue dots, I believe, on each one. It's going to work out just fine. And I just stuck it right there. that so you could do a lot with these little Hershey nuggets you could put someone's name on there they'd make like nice little like little shower table gifts or something like that and, but for this three is about all you're gonna get in here and then let's see here I had a piece of paper that I cut to two and a half by three and I think I already used it so let me cut a new one really quick and this is just to slide in our bag and hold our little nuggets and it's also going to help get them out when we're done so let me show you make sure this fits in here yep fits in there it's going to go right down to about right there so I can go ahead and Where's my snail? I'm going to go ahead and snail right at the bottom here to hold. Uh oh, we're not a snail. Okay, let's use some dimensionals. That'll make it nice and sticky anyway. going to make it a little thick for our bag but we'll see how we do so this is about two and a half inches and these three nuggets are about um three inches one each one inch each so i'm just sticking that on there it's going to help me get it in the bag this is the fun part so you got to kind of wiggle and push but it'll fit in there I'm going to do one more thing before I go any further. I'm going to go ahead and open this bag up on the bottom like I was telling you. And as you can see, there's a little gusseted piece there. It's kind of indented. I'm just going to open it up, make our bag a little bit wider. And like I said, this is the fun part. But it's worth it because it's so darn cute. Okay, so there you go, and then we just seal it closed, and now we're going to put on our little tag and our hat. So I'm just going to, I'm going to put a little um, dimensional up here because I like using dimensionals because they're so sticky, and I want this tag falling off. So I'm going to put that on there, kind of angle it like that and then our witch's hat i'm going to go ahead and pop her up too and then we're going to add a pretty bow like that like that so now for the bow i brought in some of the black and white gingham which i absolutely love this i think it's my favorite favorite all-time favorite ribbon some purple ribbon that i just had and the Simply, I think this is a Simply Elegant um, Twine. I have, I'm going to have that listed. I'll have it listed. I can't think of the right name right now. But I took all three of them. Just trying to get the curl out of this. See, just straighten it out a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and tie a bow. A little bit bigger 
and I'm not doing anything fancy. It's a messy bow. I like it messy on this little treat holder. Start over. Just play with it a little bit. Cute, 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 cute. Love it. And I do think on this project, the bow is perfect. It just really looks cute. Let's tighten it up a little bit here. And... Find a few glue dots and stick it on the back of that bow. Put it right on the knot of the bow and put it on the top of her hat. And there you go. There's your little treat holder. Isn't that cute? I just love that, the way the silver shows through. I'm glad I didn't have to cover it up with the designer series paper. I think that's really cute. What do you guys think? Do you like it? So there's your projects for tonight. Um, visit my blog, stampandshout.com. I'll have more details on my blog tomorrow. So you can go there and look at more pictures and get all the sizes if I miss telling you something. Um, again, if you're watching me live, say hi. If you're watching me on replay, go ahead and type in replay. Ask any questions. I see I always see your comments and questions, so I can go ahead and answer them. Um, that's it for tonight. See you next Tuesday, 7 o'clock. Don't be shy. Stamp and shout.